Hey, what's up, Doc and fam? Welcome back to Oh The Hermanity. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a showcase of 100% rainbowed, power beyond right and wrong, topo, God of Destruction mode. I actually just pulled my last unit of him very randomly off of a multi on the new Vegeta banner. I got a Pator Fusion. I got really excited because I thought I was gonna finally get Fizz Vegeta, and then Toppo showed up. But because he did show up, we're making this video, so I guess it ain't all that bad. Now, this is a really good support unit, so the leader skill doesn't really matter. I mean, it's pretty generic. All types key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 70%, which I guess if you don't have a lot of leader type units, him being able to do all types, key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 70% is pretty good. Uh, his, his super attack is Spear of Destruction, causes supreme damage to enemy and raises allies attack by 25% for one turn, which is pretty great. And then if we look at his passive skill, this is where he gets really good guys. All allies attack and defense plus 35%, and all enemies defense minus 50%. So he'll give every single unit on your team, whether they're super or extreme, a huge boost, and then he rips the enemy's defense in half. That's pretty amazing. And then for his linking skills, uh, the ones that I tried to link up the most were Godly Power, which gives attack plus 15%, Fierce Battle, which gives attack plus 15%, and then Shocking Speed, which is key plus two. So the majority of units on my team do have those linking skills, and you're gonna see them put into effect during uh, the fights that are about to happen. So I'm actually doing the Demon Returns event right now, which is the Broly event, mainly because Toppo is strength, and I wanna get the type effect boost, uh, where he fights Broly in his Fizz form. So that's what we're going for right here. And we're just gonna take advantage of getting these Getting some of these awakening medals real quick. There we go. Ooh, let's get that silver one up there. And obviously, guys, I'm running a, a full Realm of Gods team. So I have my Realm of Gods Goku as my lead. Uh, and then I have a friend, Realm of Gods, as well. Uh, both my Realm of Gods Goku and my friends are rainbowed. So I guess you can kind of see what they're capable of here, too. Although the focus will be Toppo for this video. All right, Broly, let's see how fast we can beat the crap out of you. I remember when this, this event used to be hard. <laughs> if you can believe that. All right, so first things first, take out Super Saiyan Broly. You know what, let's try not to take him out, just so we can get uh, Toppo out here, and we should be able to do it. Nah, actually, no, he's probably gonna die. Oh no, he survived. Good job, Broly. Good job. I'm proud of Broly. He did good survival skills right there. And Toppo doesn't even make an appearance. Well, he's definitely gonna die now. That's okay. Probably get him on the next rotation. <laughs> it's like the one card you wanna showcase, it doesn't even pop out. So we gotta wait until the next one. But that's why we do the boss battles, because it gives us time. Um, to get all the rotations out. There he is. All right. I mean, it's it's type on type, which kind of sucks. Uh, we're gonna put him right in the middle though, take advantage of all the boosts that we can. And then what the hell? We'll let we, we'll let Beerus and Weiss do some damage too. But we mainly want to see what Toppo's gonna do. So this is no type advantage. So he's still gonna hit pretty hard, but not as hard as he possibly could. Man, that big fist of destruction right in the mouth. Come on, at least crit, come on. Yeah, whoa! 1.3 million on a non-type advantage, just strength versus strength. That was pretty good, Toppo. 1.3 mils, nice for a support unit. All right, we definitely want to attack this Broly with our boy. So let's try to not, yeah, that's much better. Try to like reduce the key boost as much as possible. And if I play my cards right, we can take advantage and get all those greens for Toppo. All right, yes, he's out, awesome. 
Put them right in the middle. Uh, so Jira, mm, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna put Jira in last. We don't want to get a super attack off with Jira and have Jira and kill him. All right, here we go. So right now we got Fierce Battle, we got Shocking Speed, and Godly Power. So he's all boosted up. And if he does, if he does at least another crit, that'd be great. I'd like to see the type of that. But if he doesn't crit, 1.3 mil against Strength. So we'll get to see what he can do. So 667,000 non-crit. That's pretty damn good for, uh, for just a support unit that Topo is. Another cool thing about Topo, guys, you can use him on a few different teams, and I'll show you that in a second. But overall, on when it wasn't a type advantage, you got 1.3 million crit, which I think is great. And then Topo fighting a Fizz unit, still over 600,000 without the crit. So overall, really great to have. And then like he's gonna, like I said, the best thing about Topo, he can hold his own. Let's go to character list. We'll go to Topo. There we go. He can not only hold his own while fighting, but the stat boost that he gives to all of his teammates is just incredible. And then, you know, if, if you have more powerful Realm of God units on your team, which clearly I did, having them on the board and getting that negative 50% um, debuff against the enemy is gonna make all your units hit so much harder. So. Even if you don't have Topo Rainbow, guys, you have got to take advantage of his passive skill and even his spe his super attack, where he raises um, all ally. Well, he raises allies' attack by 25% for one turn. And like I said, you can use him on a Realm of Gods team, or you can also use him on Universe Survival Saga. So you have a lot of options of teams that you can pick from. Let's just put those two out real quick. Now that we can, we can do Universal Survival Saga and Realm of Gods. I love that you can pick more than one now. I mean, look at the units that you have here. You have all, obviously, your godly units. Um, you have your Zamasus, you have LR Zamasu, you got your Kefla, the Rebrand unit, you have a ton of LRs in here. And then you also have a lot of the new units that have come out, like the new Goku. Um, the new Shampa, well not new Shampa, but he did get his, um, his Dock and Awakening, which is really effective if you have him on a Universe 6 team. He does a huge boost, he does medium chance of attack plus 200%, so got lots of units to choose from to make a sweet team and have him as a supporter. So, overall, Topo's great unit to put some orbs into, and hopefully we'll start getting some more use out of him because all I really use is my Patora team and I'd like to start using more teams because the game gets boring if you use the same team all the time, right? I hope you guys enjoyed the video and real quick before I let you go, as you guys can see, I have about, I don't know, 80 rainbowed units now. So if you wanna make a suggestion of a unit you'd like to see, you don't have to really know which ones I have because there's too many to go through, but if you want to make a suggestion down in that comment section below, uh, I'll take a look, and if I've got them rainbowed, I'll make that the next video. Hope you guys have a great day, and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.